Tom Lochner, the executive director of the Wisconsin State Cranberry Growers Association, shares his insights and passion for the incredible little red cranberry. Tell us about what the Cranberry Growers Association does. The Wisconsin Association was formed in 1887 by uh, growers in central Wisconsin. We're the state's largest fruit crop by far. Wisconsin is the leading producer of cranberries and will produce over 60 percent of the U.S. crop this year. Last year we did about 67 percent of the crop, so we're the, we're the leading producer and by far the state's largest fruit crop. Recent study on economic impact actually done by UC Davis projected that we're just under a billion dollars in impact here wow. in Wisconsin and probably about 5,000 jobs or so. So it's, a, it's an important industry here in central Wisconsin where most of the economic activity takes place. One of the most fascinating things I've learned today is the fact that, as far as I know, almost all the growers are mom, pa, their family. Mm -hmm. It's not corporate agribusiness. Right. Largely family farms, uh, multi-generational. We've got growers that, in some cases, are sixth generation, maybe even the seventh generation. Do you think that the reason why is because it's not an attractive bait for agribusiness (laughs) because it is a real hands-on, smaller scale operation Mm -hmm. as a crop, isn't it? The thing about cranberry growing is it's a uh, unique form of agriculture, and it's It's a lot different than growing any other. Let's talk for a moment about the really essential health benefits Mm. of the cranberry. Mm. It's very high in uh, polyphenols and antioxidants. It's very nutrient-dense in that that respect. Can you talk about the polyphenols? As I understand it, cranberries have a lot of very good compounds in them. One of the compounds that's in there that's unique to cranberry is a proanthocyanin. They call them PACs, and it's a certain type of proanthocyanin, but essentially what it does is it prevents bacteria from adhering to tissue. So the urinary tract benefit is not from the acidity and the juice flushing, but it's actually something in the cranberry juice that prevents bacteria from adhering to the stomach and to the intestine. That also has benefits elsewhere, and we're looking at that, that it may have some benefit in uh, preventing E. coli and other types of things. And in, in a period when we're looking at a lot of antibiotics, resistant bacteria and things like that. The Native Americans originally harvested cranberries from the wild and they used them to make poultices as medicine to prevent uh, infections and in, uh, in injuries that they may have. So maybe we're coming around to <laughs> their line of thinking a little bit more. Yeah. Do you mind talking about Ocean Spray for a moment? Now, that's a, an association, right? It's a, a cooperative? Uh, yeah, Ocean Spray is a grower-owned cooperative. Mm-hmm. Growers formed Ocean Spray and created the Ocean Spray brand to market their fruit. And I think Ocean Spray has been probably one of the more successful egg marketing co-op. Tell us what the motors and the sounds and the cacophony in the background is. That last noise was a truck that's got a load of fruit on it, and that'll be going to the receiving station in Babcock. They'll dump that fruit, and it'll be uh, cleaned and uh, put into bins and then end up in a freezer probably by the end of the day today. For further information, if somebody wanted to find out more. You can go to our website. It's at wiscran.org, W-I-S-C-R-A-N.org. And there's all kinds of information on there and links to other Cranberry websites as well. Excellent. Thanks again, Tom. You bet.